This is part 2 of the website development series and we will cover style sheets. Now let's go ahead and apply some styles on the HTML page that we have just created. Styles basically help you control the appearance and layout of your web pages. To apply styles onto your HTML page, you need to understand the syntax of CSS uh, which is made up of three parts selector property and value when you talk about selector it helps to select any html element on which you want to apply a css property supplying a value to that property so for example you will select h1 element and apply a property color with a value as blue apply a property font size with a value as 12 pixel. So basically the headings on that HTML page will be will have font color blue and the font size will be 12 pixels. The three ways you can apply CSS to HTML page inline, internal, external. When you talk about inline you are applying within the HTML element itself internal inside the head tag this is very important inside the head tag you have a style tag where you can provide a selector and all the styles that you want to apply to that selector or if you want to have generalized styles that you want to apply on your multiple HTML pages you can create a separate CSS file with an extension .css and link that file in your HTML page using the link tab. So let's just go ahead and, and decorate the HTML page that we just created. So based on the understandings of selectors, we can have universal selector, element or tag selector, ID selector or class selector. So let's see an example on the same. So we had created this HTML page with the output. Now let's, let's just go and decorate this heading, apply some border on the image and maybe decorate the anchor link as well. To do that, now if I want to decorate the heading, I can use the inline style. So I can say style and maybe I'll say color and I can apply a value onto it. So you can say style equal to property colon value semicolon. You want to apply some background color, you can do that as well. So you can say background color and maybe the color you apply as black. So this is the way you do inline styling. For you to be able to create internal styles, you can select an element. So suppose I'll say I select IMG the element and let's apply a border onto it. Maybe say two pixel and solid green. If you want to create an external style sheet, so I'll create a new file and I'll save it as style.css and if I want to decorate the anchor link so I can say anchor link and maybe I'll say color and as red and I'll say text decoration say none if I want that when I hover onto this some styles should be applied so maybe I'll say text decoration and I'll say underline okay I save it hello.html I want to link it so I'll use the link tag which has the href attribute and I'll provide the link to the style.css. I save it, I go to the browser, I refresh the browser Okay, so you can see we had inline style heading with the color crimson and background color black. We had internal style image with the border. Can you see two pixel? Maybe to highlight it, I can make it five pixel. So now can you see it's five pixel and uh, the anchor link. Okay, so the anchor link is not linked. Haven't I saved it?
link href is equals to then you also specify um, relationship and that is style sheet okay, so can you see now it's red when I hover you can see I have an underline right so this is the way you can apply styles on your HTML pages in the next video we'll be covering how to add dynamism to the web pages using JavaScript a cat killed average is dead